One of the themes in all of this work has been the British Council's capacity to bring together people who would not otherwise meet each other, but who nonetheless can benefit from meeting each other. I like the idea of interaction between different organizations and different kind of industries. What we can bring into the discussion um, is this uh, uh, server, computer, cloud thing. I strongly believe in the well, in the intelligence of a cluster, of a, of a group. And in 2012 we want to do it on a bike I'll say, and Woodstock for climate change. And I think that all these guys here can give something to realize it. Without the public at large grasping the idea that climate change and also uh, environmental issues uh, can be, uh, must be tackled by mankind in order for us to survive. If it continues to be like that, I think it will be really hard to promote open air festivals because you cannot really count on the weather. But yeah, the changes that we all agree are going to be there in the world, they're going to impact everybody and there's no business that's immune from that. The cultural industries are very uniquely placed in the relationship that they have with um, customers and citizens. So I think the dialogue among different uh, people in society uh, is very, very important. I, see, I very much see that tonight here. This is what the music industry can. This is what the arts can. They can come up with role models. They can come up with ideas, with dreams. We could pave the way into a low-carbon future. So today, at the first Green Music Dinner in Germany, we'd like to discuss with you. I think the cultural sector is a key leader in this area of work because they're genuine and true and they normally come from a place of the heart. And one of the symbols of life itself would be renewable energy, but it's only a symbol. And I think this is important for the music industry. Right. to argue that renewables are a symbol of something which is essential, which is the energy of life, and not the other way around. I think in the cultural terms, this is the most important story. So to me, music going green is like music coming home. We are responsible, we are aware, we have a responsibility of welcoming people. I think each of us here, in our different areas of responsibility, can take away a responsibility, a task. I think no other industry has this big opportunity to uh, have a big impact on society and mainly on young people because they have a role model. In general, the cultural sector is an interesting partner for innovative processes. Uh, you have the freedom of uh, ideas. Three years ago, I don't think there would have been a, a band on the planet who would have walked into a dressing room in England and expected there to be a recycling bin. So I think, yeah, we're, we're making a difference, things are changing, and I guess my focus has always been to remember what business we work in. It's the entertainment business. And if we can't find ways of engaging people in what we're all trying to do, but make damn sure they have some fun while they're doing it, we're getting it wrong. They are about taking a responsibility globally. The rest, all the competition, will happen. In the festival world, we're doing a lot of work with festivals, green has become a brand and it's so important that we, as, a, as an amazing industry that's got extraordinary global reach, actually do something. Don't just talk about it, we do it.